Hey guys, this is Earth Elemental. In today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to retarget animations from Mixabo to Blender's Legos. So, the first thing you need to do is get the Epic Mini Rig, which is the rig you will be using in this video. Once I find out how to actually use it for the other rigs, I'll make a tutorial for that. Now, you can get that from the Golden Ninja Pins Lego channel, and you'll be able to get the rig from his video. Once you do that, you go to the link down below to Rococo Studios and you download the Blender plugin. And this is what we use to retarget the animations from Mixamo to the rigs. So, the last thing you need to do, of course, is to get the animations. Now, you can get a free account made from on Mixago and you'll go ahead and start off with a simple animation. So, for this one, we do body block. And we can go ahead and download it. So once that's selected, you press download and you make sure it, that it is selected without skin. So we only get the rig is for the animation. So we'll download that. And then we'll hop on to Blender. Now for the Rococo, you go to preference, add-ons install and you install the uh, zip file for it that you had installed earlier and once that is done you can just enable it and say preference now i already have a maker fig i already have a bendy rig set up and we can go ahead and get started with the animation retargeting so we import the fbx animation it is the body block and we will stop the animation at 104 all right then you press in and you go to the Rococo studios you close these two windows and go to retargeting window then you go to the eyedrop for source I have the animation as the source and the bendy rig as the target after that you press build bone list and it'll show you the list of bones that is connected from this to this now some of them are not showing when I first started so I had to manually do it sometimes it'll be duplicated as well you just take off the ones that are the leg right leg left leg you can just take them off all right and you can see the bones are connected from my rig you can just copy it if you have the same rig of course and once that is done you press retarget animation now this happens all the time to me but so far i was able to fix it by just doing some simple steps so for the head it always goes out but i just put it right back where it was all right and as for the legs what you do is you'll go to the rig go to pose mode and in the timeline you press Control tab to go to the graph editor then you go up here to view and view select the curve key frames so we'll select the leg IK and we'll go to the Z location. We'll press A in the bar right here and we'll press the period key or the delete key for you on the numpad and you'll just slide it down by pressing G and then sliding it down. So this is right here is good. We can go ahead and change the location for the Y if we need to as well. Or the X. Let's see if that Y can push it. Uh, all right. And we change the rotation, which is the X axis. close that out and let's see all right and we'll do the same for the other foot you'll get this bar right here 
you'll drop it down, go to Z, and you'll push it down. And you'll press these other ones to align it to your liking. This seems pretty good. Now let's go ahead and press Control Tab and let's see the animation. Now it's pretty good. Now sometimes the R's will mess up. You could do the same thing that you did for the legs. For the R's, you just go press Control Tab and you go to the grab editor, select the arm, drop down, and you'll change the positions, the rotations, and the scales if you need to, to get it just right. So for this one, I could probably say this one can go out, so it will be the rotation of the x-axis, well the z-axis actually, and that would be good for me. Alright, let's see it again. And of course, if you need to, we can go back just one more time. You can always change it in between. So we can show you like here, you can move it where we can say go all the way right here. So when it plays, it goes out. I don't really want that, so I'll press Ctrl Z to go back. Alright, so the animation is looking good. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys later.